Hi everybody, welcome to Good Taste and welcome to the amazing Cisco Kitchens. And I'm with a pretty amazing chef as well, Chef Jeffrey Balfour with Hotel Tandy. Valencia and Citrus. Yes, how are you? Good well, to see you, good to see you. you. Now you've got a long time relationship working with Cisco, don't you? I do, over 10 years working wow. with Cisco San Antonio. So it's wow. exciting to be here in their new kitchen, really awesome. Well, and Citrus is pretty cool too. If you Hotel Valencia, who doesn't love the vibe, the V bar <laughs> exactly. and the food is always wonderful. And we're doing a delicious dish. Who doesn't love ribs? Exactly. This is a really cool dish. Um, just easily put together. It doesn't take a lot of prep, just a little bit of stuff up front. And then it's a lot of just mixing and letting it cook. So it's great for dinner parties, stuff like that. And you can tell you there's so much fresh produce, so many ingredients yeah. involved. You know it's going to be a delicious finished product. And you like this particular purveyor for your meat, right? I do. Um, Texas Meats is really awesome. They really great product. They cut everything to order, um, which is really important a lot of the time. It's hard to get stuff that you like exactly. And they do a really great job at that. All right, let's get started. So we have some great short ribs here, like I said, from Texas Meat, nice cut. I like to get about a two inch cut on them because it gives you a, a nice surface area to be able to sear and get some really great color. Make sure that those get nice and brown on all sides. Really the darker sear you get on them, the, the better your sauce is gonna be, just a little bit richer and darker. All right, so now that we have them nice and brown, we can just go ahead and add our vegetables. So we have just a little bit of onion here, some garlic, and the really easy thing about this dish is it really is just all dumping of ingredients, some chopped tomatoes. None of this has to be cut pretty. Um, right. You're gonna braise, it's not gonna matter at all. And then some tomato paste. And once we get that tomato paste in, we'll give it another stir and just kind of let that brown. The tomato paste will help some of those vegetables get darker as well. Once those vegetables have cooked for just a second, we can go ahead and just add in our beer. And you can really use any brown beer for this, Shiner Bach. A nice Texas beer, Shiner Black would also work well. We're just going to add enough of that to kind of get those kind of braising in there for a moment. We'll go ahead and add in our demi. So this is just a veal stock and you just want to add just enough to cover all the ingredients. Mm -hmm. And then we'll add in some of our fresh herbs. Always love thyme, so just a little bit of fresh thyme and then a little bit of orange zest as well. Mm -hmm. It's already smelling really nice. And this is, like I said, such a largely unattended dish. I mean, it's just, you know, now you're done. Okay, so now that we have them finished, uh, what we've done is we just pulled the meat right off the bone. Real easy to do. It's gonna shred right off. And then you're just gonna kind of mix it around just a little bit, just to get it nice and kind of that shredded texture, you know, that it's gonna be real soft and tender. All right, so now we've kind of finished the dish off here. Use the, uh, the masa to make a sope on the bottom. And it's just real simple. You can pan fry those. Um, finish with the short ribs and then just a little bit of the uh, pickled escabeche and just topped it off with some kind of cooling refreshed avocados a um, little bit of micro cilantro and cotija. Well it is just beautiful and we've got all of the recipe elements online as well so if you want to try this at home it actually looks easy I may just head to your place sure. <laughs> and do it there at Citrus. Jeff thank you so much. Sure thank you for having me.